said, today I'm going to show you how to make vegan waffles. I'm really, really excited to film this video because if I could eat waffles every day of my life, honestly, I would. Most of the ingredients, though, you could find in your kitchen. But honestly, this recipe is super simple. So if you feel like going crazy and want to add different toppings or spices, then by all means, go at it. The main ingredients that you'll need are Bisquick. Make sure it's the original Bisquick mix. Almond milk. Here, I'm using unsweetened vanilla and flaxseed. As for my toppings on my waffle, I have almonds, blue agave, blueberries, and strawberries. Now, I checked on the PETA website and it listed the original Bisquick mix as vegan, so you're in the clear. I followed the recipe on the back of the box and substituted the milk for almond milk and the eggs for a flax egg. To make a flax egg is super simple. Basically, all you're really gonna need is flax seeds and a coffee grinder. So here, I just basically got about a teaspoon of the flax seeds, put them in the coffee grinder, and then it grounded them until they were finely grounded and ready to be used for our flax egg. Then I mixed up about a teaspoon of the flax seeds with two and a half teaspoons of water, and I mixed them all together, and it basically makes this gel-like consistency that is going to bind all of our dry ingredients together, like an egg. So the recipe says to use two cups of Bisquick, but I'm cutting this recipe in half because I'm only one person and I can't eat that many waffles. So I used one cup of Bisquick with a half a cup of almond milk. Then after I waited about five minutes for my flax seeds to settle, I poured it into the mixture and I blended it all together with a handheld mixer. basically want the batter to resemble pancake batter as we are making waffles and mine was actually too thick so I had to add a little bit of almond milk to make it a little bit thinner. Next you're going to plug in your waffle iron and spray non-stick cooking spray so that your waffles don't stick to the iron. When you're pouring the batter into the iron, make sure that the entire surface is covered evenly and there's no big clumps of batter. Otherwise, it will spill all over your counter. And trust me guys, I've been there and it's not fun cleaning that up. Then we play the waiting game and basically just wait for our waffles to cook. Do a little dance, sing a little song. Next thing you know, bing bada boom, look at that. Your waffles should come out nice and golden and fluffy and oh, so good. I don't know about you guys, but I love peanut butter. Listen, a home girl loves PB. So I'm going to make this peanut butter spread and put it all over my waffles instead of using maple syrup. You can use whatever you'd like though. I'm just mixing it up with water and making sure it's the right liquidy consistency for my waffles. Here I just cut up some strawberries and I also tried to slice some almonds. Listen, this was so dangerous and so messy. It literally got all over the place, but it's all good. If you've never tried putting nuts or seeds on top of your waffles, I would 10 out of 10 recommend. It's so, so good. Now comes the fun part. This is honestly my favorite, favorite thing to do just because I love making the waffles all pretty and putting all the toppings on top and I'm just putting on the blueberries, the strawberries, the almond slices, and also drizzling the peanut butter syrup that I made earlier. I also drizzled some of the blue agave syrup just to make it a little bit sweeter. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.